All right, guys. Today I'm going to show you how to add some thumbnail pics to your blog. Um, what I'm talking about is these pictures over here, like the little Twitter birds on the side of your articles, and how I put, you know, this ad here. It's about laptops, so I put a picture of a laptop. This is marketing on Facebook, the Facebook logo. This is about prices, so I got cash. I mean, you can put pictures that are relevant, or just put whatever you want. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go to another blog I got. I'm in the back office of my blog. I'm going to go to Add New under your media. Add New. Brings you here. Browse. I have some pictures already on my computer that I'm going to upload. So let me get those. Upload. Uh, I'm going to add a few here. If you use the browser uploader, you can just keep loading them. Alright, that's enough to get this tutorial done. Um, save all those. Now, as you see on the site, I have n nothing. This is what we got absolutely no thumbnails. So, say I want to add some here. Um, category I got here is ebooks. So I'm going to go back into my back office, go to categories, and go to the posts I have here in ebooks. Click the little number over here, it takes you to the post. And like I say here, I click this post. Actually, to make it easier, open your blog again in another page. If you got two, then you can jump back and forth rather than. You'll see why. Um, so we'll use this page for our library. See so now I can go back and forth. So I'll put, click the picture, just, and then you only want to copy. You see your URL down here. You want to start right here at the WP. Copy to the end. Copy it. Down here in custom fields. Paste it in the value. And here you want to you want it to say thumb. T H U M B. 
your thumb and then you put from WP there now if I go look at the site we'll have a picture there I'll do a few more so you get used to it but see now I got this Twitter bird here so we'll go back to the next one you don't need to update your post when you do this all you gotta do is click add custom field so we're gonna go back to the next post next one is right here click that post scroll down to custom fields select thumb go to your other page where your library is we'll grab this picture click the picture copy that Paste it in the value, add custom field, go back to another one. Now we're on the third one here. Scroll down. Let's see, we'll go back to our library. this one remember just from where it says WP content from there you leave out the first HTTP all that good stuff just copy the back half copy put it in our value add custom field and you just keep doing this all the way down the line I mean that should be enough to get you going as you see, every time I do that, it adds a picture here. And you just go all the way down the line until you get to, you know, I got one, two, three, four, five, six posts here. So I'll do the first six there. Go to this category and do those six. Go to this category and, you know, do however many I got there. And if you want to put a, a picture that's relevant to what it is, you know, then go to Google Images and search for a picture. You know, like this is about Photoshop. So I can go find a picture that's relevant to Photoshop, and I can upload that to my library and put it here instead. And it doesn't have you can, the picture can be a, no matter what size it is, it'll automatically resize it for the thumbnail, so you don't have to worry about any resizing or anything like that. Anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna keep this tutorial short, so that'll take care of it for today. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope it helps.